Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a quick 10 minute portrait sketch. Uh, most important thing here is time. Uh, this is an exercise basically just to loosen you up but get you to focus on proportion, getting quick information down as accurately as possible to help improve your hand-eye coordination and the way you recognize shape and form. I'm simply going to use charcoal pencil, a black pa pan pastel, a white chalk and a rubber and you'll see these tools as I use them so we'll sit down and we'll get started. So I've chosen a high contrast picture here just because it's a simple way to begin. You can see some of the forms on here and nice dark masses and there's also some real sharp highlights that help us, will help us to identify the forms as we move around. Now this isn't going to be a completely accurate sketch. Um, it's not meant to be a perfect portrait because we're going to give ourselves 10 minutes to do it. Um, and like I said before, giving yourself a time limit is a way of accepting that you're not going to get a perfect piece out of it, but learning something about the way you work each time you do it and improving on it the next time. So at the end of the 10 minutes, you put the picture down, you put it away and you start something else. Um, so let's go ahead, see how we get on. Might be terrible. Right, so I'm going to start with a pan pastel and just block in some shapes. This is just a soft sponge applicator and I'm just trying to find form at the moment so if you squint down you're going to be able to see different shapes like that triangle of the cheek there pulling down and it actually comes down all the way to the chin. I'm squinting down quite hard at the moment just so that we don't get confused with too much detail early on. So let's pick up a pencil. Picking out this highlight and kind of working with that as a reference. So I'll take a slightly different applicator. So we're already 1 minute 50 in, so this really isn't going to be anything like a complete study. We just want to try and concentrate on getting some form in there. when you do these quick sketches that you start to get a much better idea of where you go wrong with proportions. It's not about where you go right, it's about where you go wrong. If you sit and spend seven hours on a drawing, 
chances are you're going to produce something that you can really pat yourself on the back about. Whereas if you sit and spend 10 minutes on a drawing, chances are you're going to produce something that's full of failures, but at the same time gives you a chance to really learn where you went wrong and where you can improve next time. It's not something to dwell on, it's simply a tool. We're not doing these for anyone to like them, we're not doing them because they're meant to be anything phenomenal, groundbreaking or jaw-dropping pieces of art. We're simply doing these to improve ourselves as artists and to improve the way we see proportion and transfer it. Clumsy. See what happens when you're in a rush? Let's crisp that off. That angle is quite sharp there. I do tend to talk quite a lot when I'm drawing, but when it's uh, a bit faster paced like this, I'm not likely to talk the hind legs off a donkey. things about working like this is learning to kind of feel your way around. I'm working on forms but then you start to get a natural movement to your hand when you become more confident with your proportions. You know, I'm not concentrating on one area, I'm kind of moving around quite a lot. But it's a natural it's a natural progression. You'll see a lot of artists kind of sitting, measuring, but that's something that after a while will come a lot more naturally and you'll kind of find yourself doing it without needing to put that pencil up to the, to the paper to measure it. You'll end up kind of going, well, I know if I move this far, then that's pretty much accurate. few forms.
also find 10 minutes is about right because anything after that and your charcoal pencil is blunt so always best to have a couple sharpened up and ready to go. Let's see if we can just about get the mouth and lips in before we finish. Twenty seconds. It's not all going to magically pull together at the end. By the way, this is uh, this is as good as it gets. Okay, we're going to stop. So, it's a tool. It's a learning tool. It's not a finished piece tool, as you can see. Ten minutes got me that far. You can do this with an A5 pad, with a pencil. I'd suggest that you use a photo reference that's the same size initially as the piece that you're going to be drawing. Um, I mean, I've gone on to bigger paper, but you can see naturally I've kept it almost the same size. Um, another 10 minutes on this, it would have been a different piece pretty much, but I can look at this now, I can analyse my initial mistakes, where my proportions were wrong and right within the first 10 minutes, and I can learn to correct those. So if we have a look, angle wise we're not far off, this looks pretty good, we cut in a bit more here, it's not quite a vertical, the eye line here isn't quite horizontal, it dips down towards the horizontal and mine's pretty much horizontal so that's an error, we need it to come down kind of at an angle like that from that pupil that should go through the other pupil there centrally so that was an error we'd be looking at bringing the, the eye top of the eye arch here and then this would be this would be higher up. But these these are the very mistakes that if you have any kind of eye as an artist, if you can draw at all, an exercise like this is going to help you to improve your eye because you can sit with a high contrast image like this and you can quite easily identify your mistakes. And that way you'll know how to rectify them more easily next time. And each time you do this, you'll hone your proportional skills ever so slightly. This is the first of a few techniques I'm going to show you. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. And that's a half-finished picture.